Hi everyone, I thought I would do a special edition here on this fantastic Thursday morning here in the city of Bet Shemesh here in Israel. It's a special edition within regards to the importance of positivity in Judaism. As you all know, whichever platform you're watching me on, you know that I'm a positive person in general and positivity is great. It actually reminds me of the joke once I had a friend, I think during the coronavirus actually, he himself said, he, he himself was very motivated, a positive person. He once said, I think he said, I'm a positive person, but I'm positive also. Referring to his uh, status at the time of COVID. That was, but that, be that as may, why is it important to be positive in Judaism? The famous Lubavitcher Rebbe, I believe, actually said that if you think positively, positive outcome will come from it. If, what your thoughts are, whatever your thoughts are engineered, you're thinking positive, you're thinking you're capable of something. You've got a muna in everything. Hashem will answer it and bring it at the end. There's no such thing as, you could say in some instances, as probabilities or statistics. This can happen, yeah, for sure. Medically, there are all these things, but a positive outlook, even if it won't result in the outcome uh, that you might have wished for, but there's always a positive uh, element to every single thing. God forbid if something doesn't work out for someone in a specific instance. One can be positive and say, look, it was for the best. Look, I'm going to improve also. It's happened over here. I'm going to prove and not, not just prove the people wrong, just prove yourself that you can do it yourself. When you're positive about things in general, it is reflection. We know that there's a, when how we reflect onto one person, it reflects upon us back the same way. So if we are positive, especially with other people, we're friendly, we're, we're, we go out of our way with people, we cheer people up and stuff like that, then it's going to reciprocate in one form or another shape or form at some stage later on in life and stuff like that. And another great thing about positivity, just in general, is that you can be negative and everything else and everything's a chore, everything's negative. But if you look at something in a positive light, it's going to become more enjoyable. Uh, it's going to become much, much better and stuff like that. And it reminds me of the famous Baal Shem Tov story, the great, great Baal Shem Tov, the famous uh, rabbi. We learned many of the great stories with regards to the famous rabbi that it was a Shabbat, cold, cold Shabbat, and they had no food. And he had guests, a lot of guests. They just had shuwit, some of the plain stifled foods for Shabbat. They didn't have the fancy steaks. But they said, you know, this is going to be the best Shabbat of our lives he came with. The tastiest Shabbat of our lives. So every single portion of food that they brought, of the staple foods, it would have tasted like the delicious chicken soup, let's just say. The actual mean, meat, the meal itself would have tasted like the most delicate uh, delicacy of meats, uh, meaty items that it could have been possible. That's how it treated and it was like that. And the students were mesmerized and enjoyed it. And the wife was mesmerized. And this was one of the great famous stories of the Baal Shem Tov. How important is positivity in Judaism? You give blessings to other people. Give brachot, cheer people up. And they say, we'll actually learn in Sefer Breshit. If we bless people, they will bless us back in turn. And they very much say that about the other nations that bless the Jewish people, that God will bless them back also. Every single thing will reciprocate and are positive. When, when someone is in a positive uh, attitude, it's infectious. It can change everyone. It can change the course of everyone's day. It reminds me of the Masechet in uh, Masechet Tanit in Daf Chafbet, page 22 over there. Eliyahu Navi was in the marketplace and some man asked El El Eliyahu, the great prophet, the great Navi, who in this massive marketplace is going to make it into the next world, into Olam Abba? Who is going to be there? And over there, there was everybody, there was Rabbanim, there was accountants, doctors. So he's searching there, searching there, searching there. And he says, those two. Uh, those two over there look like clowns and comedians. How on earth are they going to? make it in why are they first out there to make it so they ask let's go to them and let's find out what are they doing by profession they look like comedians so this is yes we are comedians but we are here to cheer people up we see people are negative people are sad here in the marketplace people are arguing we come and cheer those people up we boost their confidence we compliment them we get them in a good mood so then they work better the rest of the day they're more productive they're much better, they're engaging more and they're enjoying themselves more and stuff like that. So because of that, their positivity, they get the people. And they say about Aaron Akon, the great rubber, uh, the Aaron Akon, the brother of the older brother of Moshe Rabbeinu, 
Aaron Akon was so great, he made shalom bayit between couples. He would, if he sees two people wearing a machloket against each other, he'll say, no, this one didn't mean that, that one didn't mean that, and so on and so forth. And cheered, it got the people together. That's why in the Midbar itself, in the wilderness itself, there were tens of thousands of children named Aaron after the greatness of Aaron Akon had done throughout his life with making shalom bayit, making people feel good about themselves. And that's one of the things that we can do. We've all got that. We don't have to be a top doctor to cheer people up. We don't have to be Bill Gates. We don't have to be the richest guy in the world. We can just be us. A regular person can change someone's day. I remember once, it was a rabbi, two years ago. I was in the Beit Midrash in the Beit Shemesh, and I was going to learn Gemara with the Chabruta. It was in Rosh Chodesh. It was about uh, approximately nearly two years ago. He was wearing a suit and tie. I was just walking past him. He went totally out of his way to greet and to say how, how I'm doing and stuff like that. And I still remember it today. I remember 20 years ago, someone just came out their way with a huge smile in the cocktail and said hi to me, an old school friend. And I still remember that today with a positive a- attitude. What positivity is infectious at the end of the day. And that's how important it is. And yes, there are trials and tribulations. And yes, there's terrible things, unfortunately, going on. For everyone is suffering so much, so much, so much. And there's times where one has to be crying there's, uh, and stuff like that. But one can also be positive at the same time and try and make the best of themselves, mess best of every situation. And it's infectious also. And don't forget, if your positive actions and attitude get someone else to change their attitude and become positive, and they are improving everyone else also, it's a wheel of fortune over here because you will get credited also for the positivity that uh, someone, that the person does on the other people. It's, it's so infectious at the, at the end that your positive outlook, your positive work, it's actually can infl- influence other people and it's a, got a chain, a domino effect at the end where other people get inspired. So let's inspire each other. Today we see someone's down or we are down ourselves. Let's try and be positive, make the most of it. Life is too short. Life can finish any moment over here. We see there's every reason to be negative. We see this world at the moment. It's a scary world at the moment where we see the news. So many, much people are suffering so much, unfortunately. We see the whole time at the moment, but we can still be positive and, uh, you know, and then we can rule and conquer everything the world is at our feet as they say over here so i think i'll bid you with that farewell let's be positive be happy and remember that now's the time they say that uh, in order to keep the torah it's fantastic but when it's done the simcha it's got huge huge uh, more greater inter- infinite values so our positive attitude when we're doing mitzvot or whatever jobs we're doing we're coming in and we're knowing that we're doing something holy in every single day it could even be taking garbage out each day as some something intrinsic to it it could be even making the food each day every single action we have we know we're trying we're doing it because Hashem has commanded us to do it every single action even something that might seem like an odd job like even to carry extra bags or whatever it is we grab those opportunities in life because we know we make the most of it and we can, we can inspire so much in every single thing, thing that we do. And in Hashem's eyes, every single mitzvah of Trinity, every single item out there, whatever's presented to you at the time, that is the biggest mitzvah potentially to do. So why not do it with a positive attitude? So a positivity, tell all of you, have a fantastic day. And please don't forget to watch over all the previous videos I'm doing at the moment.